Sire, I have more news. Um, yes. Well, it seems that the fighting has gone Enough. exactly as you... I would like to know what you intend to accomplish, Father. Should we not be fighting the Darkspawn instead of each other? A nobility should be brought into line and then the Darkspawn defeated. This is no true blight, Anora. Only Kalen's vanity demanded it be so. Beg pardon, sir. But blight or no, we may not have the manpower to face the Darkspawn soon. Kalen approached your legions for support, did he Never! not? Never! Marek and I drove those bastards out! Not roll out the welcome for the now. We need help, Father. We cannot deal with this crisis alone. Ferelden will stand on its own. I will lead it through this, Anora. You must have faith in me. Did you kill Kalen? Kalen's death was his own doing. Traveller of the Fair Lands. Are you a seeker, perchance? My packs are light, but I have a tome of strange origin. The Deus V. Eternus, rumored to be the last message to a sinful world from the Maker himself. I have uh, no idea what you're talking about, and uh, neither do these large men carrying swords. Get them! I see enemies ahead. That wouldn't happen. I have been studying Mother's Grimoire. Do you wish to hear what I have found? Tis not what I expected. I had hoped for a collection of her spells, a map of the power that she commands. But this is not it. No, there is much of interest within her writings, things I did not know. And one in particular I would never have suspected. Here, in great detail, Flemeth explains the means by which she has survived for centuries. That is closer to the truth than you might think. Flemeth has raised many daughters over her long lifetime. There are stories of these many witches of the wilds throughout Chastened Legend, yet I have never seen a one and always wondered why not. And now I know. They are all Flemeth. When her body becomes old and wizened, she raises a daughter, and when the time is right, she takes her daughter's body for her own. I do not know. Perhaps tis as she said. The Darkspawn threaten her as much as they threaten anyone else. 
Or perhaps she believes that this journey will make me more powerful. According to the tome, if the host is already powerful and trained in magic, it takes far less time for Flemeth to settle in. Do not be sorry. I am not. I am angry. There is only one possible response to this. Flemeth needs to die. I will not sit about like an empty sack waiting to be filled. Flemeth must be slain, and I need your help to do it. Then what needs to be done is for you to go back to Flemeth's hut in the Kakari Wilds without me. If I am present when she is slain, I cannot be certain that she will not be able to possess my body right then, so I must remain at the camp. Confront her and slay her quickly. I doubt she will truly be dead even then, but it will take her years to find a new host and recover her power, if that is even possible. The thing I must have is her true grimoire. With it, I can defend against her power in the future. Everything else in her hut is yours. I am grateful. The sooner this can be done, the sooner it will set my mind at ease. I await your command. We are in camp, so tis as good a time as any. I await your command. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs> Possibly, if I had the desire to. I do not. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but he's rather... If there's anything I can do for you, You are wise to invest in the Indeed. Yes. Sorry. Can't do that.
Now is better than later. Ah, there you are. We have brought Lyrium and begun preparations for the ritual. We can start any time. Yes, we haven't sufficient lyrium at present to send more than one mage into the Fade. I'm glad we decided to take this route. This is really the best option. Very well. I assume you are going into the Fade. Or did you have someone else in mind? Good. Let us get the ritual underway, then. Is that you, Connor? I can hear you! I'm coming! Father! I don't understand. You there. Have you seen my son? I can I can hear him, but I cannot find him. This blasted fog has me turning in circles. The what? I don't understand. Is Connor here or not? What? Possessed? Then we must help him. Is that why you're here? You... I do trust you. We must help my son. But I can never find him in this fog. You must find Connor. Please, I beg you. Is anyone out there? Hello? Who are you? Are you the one that made father ill? Tell me now! You could be a demon too! You could be a demon that looks like a person! Fool! You won't get me out! I won't let you! hurting me? Why are you trying to stop me? You will not find what you seek. Turn back now. Trespasser, I will drive you out. Father wonders, seeking me, trapped within my web. All is as it should be. 
Why must you interfere? She needs him too. Part of him. The good part. She will not easily release it. No. It is time for you to go now. Do not persist, or things will go very badly for you. Creatures of the living world want, I seek to provide. Lust, power, greed. These are my promise. Perhaps there are things you wish for. Let us pause and speak of them. It costs nothing but a moment of your time. Alas, that is sad. Very well then, if you wish a battle, you will have it. Let us see if your power matches your boldness, creature. So it is over. Connor is his old self. He does not seem to remember anything, which is a blessing. I suppose we will need to send him to the Circle of Magi's Tower for training once the war is over. It's so odd to think of the boy as a mage, of all things. Eamon has much to mourn and rebuild should he recover. But at least he could be thankful that both his son and wife are safe. I owe you my deepest thanks. I had nearly... I can scarcely believe Connor is the boy he once was. There is still the matter of Jowan. His poisoning Eamon began this whole mess, yet he lives. I must decide what becomes of him. We will hold him for Eamon to decide his fate. If he doesn't recover, Jowan's fate is sealed. What do you think? Released? Are you mad? Why would you do such a thing? I agree with Isolde. He's a Maleficar. 
We cannot simply unleash him on the land and ignore his crimes. Perhaps you are correct. But that is Eamon's decision, not mine. I'm sorry. Jowan stays in the dungeon for now. But our task is not done yet. Whatever the demon did to my brother, it seems to have spared his life, but he remains comatose. We cannot wake him. The urn. The urn of sacred ashes will save Eamon. Thank you. I am grateful for your eagerness to help restore my husband. Find the brother Genitivi, the scholar, in Denerham. He has been researching the urn's location for several years now. The knights that returned say they were unable to find Genitivi. Perhaps the Maker will lead you to him. I must go to the hall and begin rebuilding. I wish you luck, and may the Maker go with you. dear of you. Thank you so much. Why, thank you so much. Is that for me? Now that we're back at the camp, I want to talk about what happened at Redcliffe. I just wanted to thank you. You went out of your way to save the Isles family and you did it. Even though it would have been easier not to. There's been so much death and destruction. It... well, it, it makes me feel good that at least we were able to save something. No matter how small. I owed the Isle that much. Good. Now that the warm, fuzzy part of the day is over with, we can get back to the ritual dismemberments. Oh wait, it's not Tuesday, is it? Something I can help with? Yes? What's on your mind? I await your command. At time, a world full of people and buildings and things was all very foreign to me. If I wished companion... I, re I, ha I snuck up behind her and stole a hand mirror from the carriage. It was encrusted in... To teach me a lesson, Flemeth took the mirror and smashed it upon the ground. Beauty. Without those lessons, I would not be here today, as difficult as they might have been. I await your command. We are in camp, so tip. I await. So, full of questions, are you? <laughs>
You have excellent taste. How nice. Unexpected. Thank you. Interesting. And so you return. Lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to dance to her too. Such enchanting music she plays, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Which one, I wonder? What has Morrigan told you? Hmm? What little plan has she hatched this time? That she does. The question is, do you? Ah, but it is an old, old story. One that Flemeth has heard before, and even told. Let us skip right to the ending, shall we? Do you slay the old wretch as Morrigan bids, or does the tale take a different turn? Choice. There is power in choices, as there is in lies. I shall give you one of each. Morrigan wishes my grimoire. Take it as a trophy. Tell her I am slain. Shame. What will it be, then? It is a dance poor Flemeth knows well. Let us see if she remembers the steps. Come. She will earn what she takes. I'd have it no other way. Now is better than later.
do that. What? Can't do that. Ah! That lovely Morrigan has at last found someone willing to death. Oh, you think you're the first to come, full of righteousness and bluster? If only that was it. Come. No, son. Yes.
one in a lot of danger. It doesn't have better things to do. On. It is done. Done now. Are you happy? Mother's real grimoire, is it? I am glad you were able to find it after all. My thanks for retrieving it. I shall begin studying it immediately and unlock the power that it holds. It is a curious thing. I do not know how else to describe it. No, nothing is wrong. It is a little embarrassing to admit, in fact. I am reminded of our first meeting in the wilds. I had been in animal form for some time, watching your progress. I knew immediately that you were far more formidable than the other men you traveled with. I found you intriguing. Yet I resented it when Flemeth assigned me to travel with you. I assumed that at best you would drive me from your company as soon as we left the wilds. I am aware that I have little talent for forming friendships, to put it lightly. It is something I know nothing of, nor ever thought I needed. Yet when I discovered Flemeth's plans, you did not abandon me. Whatever your reasons, you fought what must have been a terrible battle without hope of real reward. The extent of my usefulness does not explain the interest and kindness you have shown since the wilds. You could as easily have ignored me entirely, yet you did not. You will need to forgive me for speaking so awkwardly, but do you suppose that we have become... Friends, you and I, I have nothing to compare it to. As was I. I see the stories they tell of Grey Warden endurance are not exaggerated. <laughs> Indeed there are. The unanswered question, of course, is whether the endurance exists because of the taint within you, or because the Grey Wardens are by nature so very healthy. I enjoy the thought that tis a little of both. Natural prowess driven by a darker side. That is entirely up to you. Simply know that I have no designs on your independence. I wish only to do what I desire, and if that coincides with what you desire, then so be it. And should you decide not to continue our misadventure, then so be it. Very simple, is it not? Oh, now you ruin the mood by speaking profanities. Silly man. 
Come then, let us be off before the others begin to stare. Unexpected. Thank you. Very nice. Why, thank you so much. Why, thank you so much. Indeed. Yes. Concentrate. Like we practiced. Now, fire! You know, maybe this isn't the best time to be thinking about this, but I have something to ask you. Seeing as we're in Denerim now, I'm wondering if we might be able to look someone up. I'm not talking about a friend, exactly. And no, it's not that sort of friend either. The thing is, I have a sister, a half-sister. I told you about my mother, right? She was a servant at Redcliffe Castle and she had a daughter. Only, I never knew about her. I don't think she knew about me either. They kept my birth a secret after all. But, after I became a Grey Warden, I did some checking and... Well, I found out she's still alive. In Denerim. No. I thought about writing her, but I never did. And then we were called down to Ostagar, and I never got the chance. She's the only real family I have left. The only family not also mixed up in the whole royal thing. I've just been thinking that maybe it's time I went to see her. With the blight coming and everything, I, I don't know if I'll ever get another chance to see her. Maybe I can help her. Warn her about the danger, I don't know. Could we? I'd appreciate that. If something happened to her and I never went to at least see her, I don't know if I could forgive myself. Her name is Goldana, 
And I think she remarried, but still lives just outside the alienage. If we're in the area, then... Well, it's worth a look. Magic exists. That's my sister's house. I'm almost sure of it. This is, yes, this is the right address. She could be inside. Could we go and see? Will she even know who I am? Does she even know I exist? My sister. That sounds very strange. Sister. Sister. Hmm. Oh, now I'm babbling. Maybe we should go. Let's go. Let, let's just go. Uh, hello? Hey, you have linens to wash? I charge three bits on a bundle. You won't find better. And don't trust what that Natalia woman tells you either. She's foreign and she'll rob you blind. I'm not here to have any wash done. <laughs> uh, my name's Alistair. I'm... Well, this may sound sort of strange, but... Are you called Anna? If so, I suppose I'm your brother. My what? I am Goldana, yes. How do you know my name? What kind of tomfoolery are you folk up to? Look, our mother, she worked as a servant in Redcliffe Castle a long time ago before she died. D do you know about that? She... You! I knew it! They told me you was dead! They told me the babe was dead along with mother, but I knew they was lying. They told you I was dead? Who? Who told you that? Them's at the castle. I told them the babe was the king's and they said he was dead. Gave me a coin to shut my mouth and sent me on my way. I knew it. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. The babe didn't die. I'm him. I'm your brother. <sighs> For all the good it does me. You killed mother, you did, and I've had to scrape by all this time. That coin didn't last long, and when I went back, they ran me off. And who in the Maker's name are you? Some servant of his to carry all his riches, I expect. Hey, don't speak to him that way. He's my friend, and a Grey Warden, just like me. Oh, I see. A prince and a Grey Warden, too. Well, who am I to think poorly of someone so high and mighty compared to me? I don't know you, boy. Your royal father forced himself on my mother and took her away from me. And what do I got to show for it? Nothing. They tricked me good. I should have told everyone. I got five mouths to feed. And unless you can help with that, I got less than no use for you. I... I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Well, so he's found it. I'm his sister. But what are you to me, boy, except the one who took my mother away, hmm? You think I wished her dead? I never wanted that. I didn't have the life you think I did, Goldana. <sighs> I suppose not. A bastard is still a bastard, isn't he? But... Brother or no, I've got five mouths to feed and no time to spare until they are. Then let me promise you this, Goldana. I'll do whatever I can, speak to whomever I have to, to ensure you and your children are taken care of. Hmm, that sounds all well and fine, but you'll have to forgive me if I don't exactly hold my breath. You have my promise. I can't give you more than that. I... Let's go. I want to go. Goodbye, sister. Well, that was not what I expected, to put it lightly. I lived up to my promise, I suppose, but this is the family I've been wondering about all my life? I can't believe it. I, I guess I was expecting her to accept me without question. Isn't that what family is supposed to do? I, I feel like a complete idiot.
Yes, I'm sorry too. I guess I should have known better. Let's just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Yes? What are you doing here? Brother Genitivi? Why? He was on the trail of the urn of sacred ashes, yes. Whether he found it, the Maker only knows. I haven't seen Brother Genitivi in weeks. He said no word. It's so unlike him. I'm afraid something has happened. Genitivi's research into the urn may have led him into danger. Perhaps the urn has been lost for a reason. I pray for Genitivi's safety, but hope dwindles with each passing day. I, I tried to send help, but some knights came from Redcliffe looking for him not long ago. I sent them after Genitivi, and they too have disappeared. Now don't ask me where they went. You'll go after them. And what if ill luck should befall you too? This search is a curse on all of us. Some things are, are not meant to be found. I know that now. So be it. All he said before he left was that he would be staying at an inn near Lake Kalinhard, investigating something in that area. Good luck. May you find the answers you seek. I have something for you. Tis a ring. Now before you get any foolish notions, let me explain. Flemeth once gave me the ring because it allowed her to find me no matter where I went, in case I was ever captured by hunters. I disabled its power as soon as we left the wilds. Recently, however, I thought to change it. Now, I will be able to find whoever wears it instead. It is not given out of sentimentality. I believe you were too important to risk. If you were captured, this ring would allow the rest of us to find you quickly. You are welcome. Perhaps it will be useful someday. What are you doing? You're not supposed to go in there. I'm sorry, but that room is not for guests. It's full of books and papers, and I'd rather they were not disturbed. I said no. Ginny TV was a very private person. No, don't touch that door! Welcome, friends. Welcome to Wade's Emporium. We have the finest armors in Denerim, maybe in all of Ferelden. How may we assist you? No! Uh, 
No, he can't. Did I hear right? You, you, uh, a man, you, you have Drake scales? Look at this, Haren. It's real. Some never see a single scale in their lives. Sadly, you don't have enough to make armor. But if you find more, and you must, come straight here. Oh, the things I could make with it. Really, take your time, friend. No need to come back with any of those at all. Certainly. Welcome back, Warden. As you can see, we've been busy. Clean the place up a bit. Even my brother Mikhail came out of hiding. Never will you find a finer smith. Also, got some goods stored here that might interest you. Buy them now before my cousins move it all someplace else. Certainly. Once the dragons were strong, we will be again. You? Today. You're the warden. My family owes you. Any weapons I make, I will sell you for a discount. Command me. Right. Thank you. 
are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it were some sort of zoo. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? They are hiding something. Tis obvious, is it not? Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've been. Were you up, were you down? Chasing rabbits round the town. Come, come, Bonnie Lynn. Tell us, tell us where you've... Who are you? You shouldn't be here. In the Chantry. Mother wanted me to go to the Chant. But she doesn't get to tell me what to do anymore. I'm sick of listening to Father Eirik, along with the babies and the girls. Soon I'll be old enough to go up the mountain and... Nothing. It's just nicer up there. You wouldn't understand. Lowlanders don't belong here. I was not expecting to find something so unsettling. Used for food preparation, perhaps? I'm just trying to be optimistic. The other explanation is slightly more disturbing. That is human blood. Your direction? Just like you wanted. What now? So have you heard? Morrigan <laughs> and him are... Uh, What's next? You know. Have you nothing better to do than spread idle gossip? And besides, he can probably hear us both. You're not being very discreet. No, look, he's not even paying attention. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. You don't think that he's serious about it, do you? The woman is a vile fiend. Ha! Huh. Well, look here. Now who's an idle gossip? Meow. You're the one who started this, I might remind you. And I'm... Well, I'm ending it. even on the proper map. Who are you? You're not from Haven. I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look.
so everyone is within the Chantry. How lovely for them. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the Holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... I understand that you are new here. But common courtesy dictates that one shouldn't interrupt. No matter. We were just about done here anyway. But, Your Reverence, we have not completed the sacraments of the Holy Mother or, or, or sung the invocation. Be calm, Nodda. We have an honored guest. Surely the sacraments can wait. That is all for today, my children. I shall see you tomorrow. For now, I should see to our visitor. You've come all this way chasing a myth. You will not find it in Haven. We are but simple people who enjoy the pleasures of hearth and home. We find outsiders disruptive. They bring others, and before long, Haven is changed. We will go to any lengths to prevent that. You understand a man's need to protect his family, don't you? Brothers, you know what must be done. Something is coming. Can I get you a lamp so you can get out of Who are you? They... they've sent you to finish it. You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I... Oh, the leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. The leg is wounded, but that will heal in time. The foot may have to come off. I thought you might say that. But if the foot goes, it goes. There are more important things than an old man's feet. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. The Arl is sick. Will he live? Politics never did anyone any good. The Arl is a noble soul. But the ashes... The ashes will surely cure him. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what the key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you.
It is not that far, and will you let me lean on you? For the urn, any pain is worth enduring. Ah, good. Help me up here. I'll try not to slow us down. Here we are. Give me the medallion, and let's see if I remember. Yes, yes, you see, it, it can be manipulated, just like this. And there, a key to open the way. It may have been passed down through the generations, from the first people who built the temple. Now, where does this go? As it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I was a little distracted, I apologize. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Go. I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the Anne. Ah, it's my job. Just be careful, that's all I ask. The temple is perilous. I'll be right here if you need me. Now I need something to write on. Let's go. Old bo books. Do you think any of those might still be readable? Allow me. I could do that for you. I fin finished. I can't do that. I see we enemies ahead. Alone. Really not alone.
right ahead. Let's finish this. An order. What now? I see enemies ahead. Got it.
have me. That about wraps it up. Allow me. I could do that for you. What's next? 